The pieces of the puzzle are falling together. And the big picture is horrifying and unbelievable. I will tell the others about this. But I still can't make myself believe it. The Reds have infected Oktyabraskaya. A peaceful station denizens of which never suspected anything. With an unknown deadly virus. And then their mop-up squads entered it under the pretense of saving the station from the epidemic. And eliminated everyone they could. Women, children, old people. To prevent the infection from spreading. And if all this is true, then me and Anna could be infected too. We've been saved from being killed, but we don't know if we're going to survive for long. I have a feeling that everything will end soon. We won't survive this war, Artyom. No one will. I feel alone again, like when I was a girl and father was away on a mission. Nothing around me, empty and cold, as if I were just a spark from the fire flying away and then gone. It's hard for me to tell you these things, Artyom, but I want to feel that I'm alive. Touch me. Well, hmm, there seems to be nothing wrong with you. Congratulations, youngsters. You, Archeum, may go. While you, Anna, you have to stay some more. We need to finish treating your wound. <sighs> Thank God. Come here, darling. Don't look there. What's that, Papa? Nothing. It's all right. Just don't look. When are we going to go home? Soon. Very soon. <coughs> Where's Mommy? <coughs> Where did they take her? Mama's home already. <coughs> We'll be with her soon. I miss her. I want to go see her now. You will. But, but in just a little bit. I don't believe this. There were at least two more packs left. How, listen, how much do you think we can use up in one day? Not this much. There's almost no new patients. Is it the old ones don't need that? And how many live to become old ones? Well, less and less of them are dying. So perhaps it's come to an end. Who's that? Can you see the face? Is it... Looks like... Eight box. <laughs> yes, it's eight. Simetsky, Yuri. He used to say he'd observe us all. <laughs> well, all bets are off now. They're going to cut <coughs> away soon, too. Damn right. <laughs> God save me, please. <coughs> God save me, please. <coughs> God save me, please. <coughs> God save me, please. God save me, please. God save me, please.
Anybody? Somebody? Hey! Let me go! You're not going to get away with this. I'm completely healthy. And you like me happy with a no less suka. Prospects as well as I. Hey, no. Hey, buddy. But still, help. You were instructed on the safety precautions, on the gloves, on the mask. You signed the papers. Yes, I, I did. But the kids, how was I supposed to talk to them with the mask on? They were scared. They were crying. Yes, but you didn't save them, and you doomed yourself. We're short on people as it is, Priturak. You could have helped so many. Yes. Let me go. Yes. I I could. All right. We'll start the symptomatic treatment and see where it takes us. A mild form has cropped up lately. There are even some cases of recovery. Let's be optimistic. You can't go into the vault. Go through the lab. The disinfection chamber is further down the way. So, I don't have to remind you about the gloves and the mask. Yes, I know that. Perfect. Now, you take the temperature every hour. Blood samples every three hours. Call me at once, should any parameters deviate from the pattern. Of course. You see, there's only been two cases with good prospects so far. We must study them carefully. Yes, I understand. Great. stuff in it. Look at all this shit. Well, what's there to do? They got off easy, but we got to pack all that. Yeah, then what's the point, huh? Should just burn it with the corpses and be done with it. They say it's to find the source of infection. Bullshit, if you ask me. No way to do that now. Well, those at the top know better. The guard room is that way. So, is the epidemic slowing down? Looks like it, but let's check the facts. What do we know? First of all, the new samples all show acute monocytosis. True. Samples 317 to 323, monocytosis. Yet we already know the virus targets monocytes specifically. It always did. All the previous samples only have neutrophils of the nucleus. This can only mean one thing. This strain is becoming less virulent. But let's not rush to conclusions. 
We'll check the rest first. So, were you able to isolate the agent? Yes and no. It is an Ebola virus. You can't go in there. It's a high danger zone. It's basically non virulent now. Without the original story. Doctor, you know I'm no medic. Please explain. Uh, I'm sorry, Colonel. Here are the facts. In the first two days, the mortality rate was around 95%. In the third, it dropped to about 25%. Today, we only have two new infected, and they have a light infection, prospects of recovery looking promising. Now, as you understand, Moscow never was a natural habitat for this virus, and in its wild form, it remains dangerous much longer. So, what does all this mean? It is not a regular virus. It's a weapons-grade strain, engineered to achieve maximum lethality within a short time, and then, Turn harmless. Damn this. Where did it come from? I have heard of a new generation of bioweapons based on this virus being developed before the war. But where did it surface from now, after all these years? Bioweapons? My god. Just in case, I have some Rangers questions. One of them could have brought this surprise from the past to the middle.
to know that you and Anna are all right. We can't afford to waste time being sick now. The dark one we're looking for could really be the last one. We can't lose him. Let's go. But I have to go. But I have to go back for her insulin. She'll die without it. You'll buy some here. I can't let you go. How can we buy anything when all we had is back there? And Hansa charged you so much. Please. Hansa gave you shelter. Stand back. Shelter to die, I said step mean. back. So we stay for a little longer? Yes, until reinforcements arrive. All right. They aren't going to start shit while we're here. But there's something on my mind. What? The epidemic? No. It's the fact that they got here in the first place. Why are they so active lately? Why so many patrols? Why send a squad to a plague station? They be gearing up for another war with the Nazis? Doesn't look like it. They concentrate their forces at the Reich border then. But now they're spreading them thin. A demonstration of force? Who needs Sparta now when the Reds are solving all the problems? Could be so. Sure thing. They won't be able to replace us completely. But putting some pressure on their superiors, that they could do. Well, let's leave and see. Damn right. So what about my luggage? What is it? Read the pamphlet again, or listen to the broadcast, for Christ's sakes. They've either been disinfected or disposed of. But they... they took everything from me! Where's your stuff? What stuff? When they took your stuff for disinfection, you signed on a guard and were given a stuff. Where is it? Ah, that... here. How easy this is? And you took so much time. I, I'm sorry. Thank you. Everybody runs. The refugees sure were lucky, because Tomlin's rangers were here. Corbett's men clearly didn't expect to be met with machine gun fire. So, all this stuff still there? Of course. What were you thinking? I was thinking you had the brain to take something with you. What prevented you if you're so smart? Don't snap at me, bruh. What do we do now? What else? Sit on our asses. And if they come to collect? We just tell them where. Let them collect themselves. And the red? Well, they could move out before that. Yeah, right. Looks like they're there for good. They'll think of something. It better be fast. Let's think then. Uh, I don't know. Shit, some thinker you are. Well, Hansa could not protect the station without help, but they did provide shelter for the refugees and the hospital. Perhaps that could help them. Sorry, that's forbidden without a permit. That's our man. Let this one through. He got a permit. I think you should stock up on filters and ammo, Artyom. We probably won't have a chance anytime soon after this. Well, hey, Ranger! I have some ammo! Why did they fight anyway? Come here, Ranger! Let's what tackle! What do they care for us? Hey, some throwing knives! Jeep! 
Great rounds, very powerful. Turn out to be quite economical. By these, nobody will give you a better price. Grenade at a great price. The incendiaries are a great competitive advantage. Come again. That's what puzzles me. I got some incendiaries. Best cure for competition. Nobody signed any contracts with them. We didn't even promise anything. What were they thinking? Nothing. It's their job. The Polish Rangers were doing stuff like this from the very beginning. What? Fighting the Reds? Nah. If there's an epidemic, dangerous mutants, anything, then Polis sends the Spartans to handle the situation. And what's up now? They came because of the epidemic, but we already set up the quarantine and the Reds cleared out the source. So they helped us out so that the Reds don't get too enthusiastic. And what's the profit Polis is making here? They're far from here, the epidemic wouldn't reach them. The states had that arranged long ago. Police handle stuff like this, and nobody touches them. They're neutral. They also handle negotiations if there's a war or shit like that. Ah, I get it now. I see. Don't start a war, but benefit from the results. Yes, that's good business. Sure, but we're not doing commerce to make a loss either. Come here, Ranger! I got great weapons! Best choice for the tunnels, Ranger! Again, Ranger. Come on, take a look. I bet you don't have these in Sparta. Face the box shot is made in Hans. You can take that to the bank. Just buy these. They'll prove a great investment. They have some mines too at a special price. Mines are great for blocking off competition. Knives are very economical. You can reuse them. Come, come, take a look, Ranger. I have everything. Good luck with your trade. Artyom, take note of the funds Hanser expends on this quarantine. And they are generally quite reserved with their money. Perhaps they are aiming for an additional trump card to use in negotiations at police. Attention on the platform. Opening the airlock. Good luck in the tunnels, Ranger! In some other time and place, what happened could be life-changing. But there is no time but present, and no place but the metro for us. And we must do everything we can to save it. Thank you.
I have to hurry and catch up with the Dark One. Anna has to tell her father of what Porbut and Moskvin are doing. Anything else is a luxury we can't afford right now. We've got that going! Open up! Soon, the leaders of Hansa, Redline and Reich will meet in Polis, hoping to reach a peaceful settlement on D6. But I know the nature of man all too well, Artyom. War is as certain as the fall of night, unless a miracle happens. Well, we won't catch the train with the Dark One moving along the tunnel. But there is another way. All right. Are you going to Polis? No. Open the interline tunnel for me. But the interline is a dead end. And very dangerous. A dead end? No way. That's our road to Polis. Open up. Let's go, Artyom. Careful with the generators! As you see, it's not dead end. That's just what the Hanser authorities claim to discourage people from entering these passages. An unprepared man could easily lose his way here. Or even become lost within himself. But as long as you're with me, there is no danger. Most people believe Metro to be just tunnels and stations, a lifeless and soulless conglomerate created by human hands alone. There's a special place in the Metro. The few people who come upon it never return. I call it the River of Fate, because it can change your destiny, wash away the silt of the past, and offer the chance for a different future. If a man enters this river in dire need of such a chance, wishing desperately to earn it, then he might be carried to the place and time where that chance is granted. Remember, we must find the Dark One. It is the only thing we are to ask of the river. The Metro is a living, breathing thing, with a heartbeat, a soul, and a mind. Got to be careful here. It's an abandoned place.
Kirdayt. Get ready. Just some monsters, nothing else. Let's go. 